so the Volkswagen uh, scandal, I think, has uh, generated, uh, and I think it's going to continue to be discussed for years to come. Because I, I think, for me, one thing that it really uh, shows is that also our lack of understanding of the internal organizational processes, the way in which the internal organizational processes have an impact on sustainability. So in a way, as a field, and maybe because we are just well, as organization theorists, you know, we have very little insight on these processes because of lack of access. You know, very few people, you know, some in this room have actually been able to look at some of these decisions in the field and understanding how, you know, technical decisions might actually, you know, generate down the line uh, very major, you know, impact, you know, on environmental or, and social factors. So I think overall, I think, in a way, this is actually would be for all theories and management scholars. I mean, it seems to be obvious that we should be studying sustainability in organizations a lot more. And I guess when I'm in organizations, so personally, I, I look at it from the investor perspective. I'm interested in understanding why do investors I mean, are moving towards this trend, and how investors and corporations engage and have a dialogue. So all these organizational and governance processes, I think, you know, should be really, you know, core in our agenda. Uh, one piece that's related, and it's more uh, related to our, my own interest in performativity and materiality, is also the fact that, again, all this scandal is actually about the technology. So it's not about, you know, it's about a specific piece of technology that actually was designed by another company, so not Volkswagen, but Bosch, and it's embedded in a complex technological product. And these discussions might have happened at very low technical level and, you know, might or might not have escalated a higher level of organization or a higher level of governance. Most likely it never got to the board, this decision. It's unclear whether it got to the CEO. So I think the other key issues moving forward because of the development of technology, I think this intersection between uh, the work of engineers and biologists, maybe you know, in this case, and, and geneticists, uh, is actually creating these objects that are opaque to many people also inside the organization. And so try to better understand how the work of coding, you know, the work of programmers, the work of engineers on actual hardware pieces and uh, geneticists or financial engineers of different sources. So this was probably the toughest one for me. So I, was, I had a couple of things uh, rattling around in my head. I gave a talk uh, maybe like a half a year ago on uh, what's next in business sustainability was the topic I was asked to speak about. And um, like, any, any good person asked to predict the future, I just ask a whole bunch of people in my network because uh, I don't know what the future's going to be. And one of the things that came back that uh, still sticks with me now is how many people, uh, especially in corporations, told me they were tapped into these UN uh, Sustainable Development Goals. So that was a surprising finding for me. I wouldn't have predicted it. So that sort of bubbled up in terms of that seems to be where the attention of a lot of the people who are being paid to worry about this is today. And so I assume maybe we'll be oriented towards these goals for some period to come. Uh, this is La Mémoire de Memory. This is my, my favorite my great painting. Um, and it is a beautiful painting. It is serene and beautiful landscape, but on the other hand, it's a little disconcerting as well. Uh, when I think of sustainability, you know, I think when we go back to Fabrizio's analogy of you know, sustainability being this little pet dog. In some sense, I think that's right at the moment. It's seen as something nice, relatively cute, but I think sustainability isn't necessarily nice. And then going forward, I think it's going to be seen as less nice. Why? Because, frankly, you know, at the moment, sustainability often, I think, you know, there have been initiatives to build sustainability courses, um, gain money for sustainability research, money for firms often on the premise of this business case. Okay? The idea that we can tra transcend these conflicts, these you know, competing forces, but in reality, sustainability or making sustainable choices is often about making very difficult choices. Okay? So it's not always going to be you know, something that shareholders will like. I think this has implications for research, so understanding actually conflict much more, rather than necessarily simply how to transcend these sort of tensions. 
Um, and I think it has implications for sustainability also in universities as well. So it won't necessarily be nice, especially if it's not so small, if there are more people who are working in these areas, then I think there's potential for more controversy.